Good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Baker Baker John and welcome to another game of Homeworld. Today, for your pleasure, I have a nice little 1v1 on the map, Subjugate Your Friends, which is a small three-dimensional map, which we've had some fun games on and hopefully this will be one of them. Today our players are in the yellow uh, Kushan, this is Grand Mal Seizure, who I think was one of my earlier casts, so has appeared at least once before in many, many months ago. And his opponent, who we've not seen before, this is Lone Wolf. He is the red tie-down player. And not much else I can say about him, really. Uh, neither of these players are in clans, so nothing I can say there, apart from moving on to discuss what both players are doing. Uh, Something has just appeared at the bottom of my screen. There's a chance you can't see it, but you might be able to see how the mouse changes. So I'm going to hope you can. In that's not actually there, and just keep on casting. Anyway, uh, two players. We can see here Grand Mal Seizure has got three resource collectors and one resource controller, while his opponent has actually gone up to four resource co collectors already. Let's see if we can get them all in view. We can see three of them there. Now, can we see the fourth? I know there is a fourth one. Ah, it's, it's sort of been slightly confused about what it wants to do. I think it was going over to this patch, but now it's not going down, so it's definitely going towards the center. Which, well, that's going to improve his advantage. If he was going for one of these packets here, he would have an economic advantage, but it would be quite small because the harvester would be going back and forth. But by going for this center resource patch, it means he can dock with the collector, which is there. And so that's going to give him quite a nice advantage, unless he loses the center. But it does also mean that he'll he'll get more of the center of the center resources than his opponent. So if that all gets mined out and everybody starts facing for these side passages, pockets, things may play out slightly strangely. Anyway, his opponent, Grand Mal Seizure, has gone for defenders, which is interesting. It's something I've not seen within for the past few games, but they're pretty good as long as you can keep them alive. To sort of keep them back and out of range of the enemy. Meanwhile, it doesn't look like Lone Wolf has gone for anything special. Light Corvette Wall scouts in a very tightly packed formation. Actually, we can see Grand Mal Seizure has his scattered all around. And already things are starting to kick off as this here is under a bit of fire. This collector is under a bit of fire. It's got a lot of health, so it might not, probably won't die. Or at least these strike craft can uh, respond quickly enough if, they, if it does. Oh, we're getting some random there. Oh! Whoa! That was... Um... Yes, that was one of Grand Mal Seizure's resource collectors. Just... Destroying 30... Well, 20 to 30 scouts. Uh... That was a blink and you miss it type thing. So feel free to go back on the YouTube channel to see it. That was... That was well spotted by Grand Mal Seizure and well controlled. And that is why you never group your scouts up together in such a small, tightly packed formation. Because now... Now this is Grand Mal Seizure's game, completely. Technically he might... well this got slightly damaged. But Lone Wolf doesn't have enough ships to finish it off. If he did, maybe he would be able to have an economic advantage. He does He does have one now. He's, he's at four harvesters to two. But he's just... These harvesters are just going to go down incredibly quickly and then... Slightly lost for work. 
yeah, it's just a very simple, very devastating move. Masija taking one or two losses in his own skirt line, he's lost two skirts, but... So figure coming out. Lone Wolf needs a defence field figure. Probably several of them. Maybe a gravel generator as well. His harvest is going to get picked off and then Grand Malsiege can go for his research ship that's... Oh. And technically I, I think he's, he still has the harvesting advantage. No he doesn't. Let me try this again. Grand Mal Seizure has two harvesters there and a third one there, so he's definitely rebuilt one of them. This is all for you going for this controller yet again, but I don't think he can get it. May take a few minutes. Way for Grand Mal Seizures to cheat. For Grand Mal to lose this game. I don't think there is. Second Assault Figure will be nice. Is that another Assault Figure that, that looks like a Defense Field Figure? Okay, so we've seen in, I think it was the last game, I'm not sure, how well Defense Field. Uh, sphere that is that we can get around, but it looks like it's going to try to move in to protect. Is this Grand Mal Seizure doing another? That was a that was a sneaky, well, not sneaky, that was cheat. Totally winning. I can, I can ram your frigates with my research ship. Now this defense field figure is out, so it's, it can protect these ships. Seizure can get. So if this gets repaired up, it can probably just ram. They will try to take out as many resources as possible and then just stick all my figures together in a close formation and try to get grab rolls. So we can't select this to see which shots are being blocked. Orange circles just about. That means they block shots there. Well, shots are being blocked. Unfortunately, it only blocks about 90% of gunfire. So, the light corvettes are so weak they still found themselves being taken out anyway. But I'm fairly sure this defense build figure is going to be protecting both these ships now. Something he needs to fix very quickly. It's not that hard to put these into a formation. But, yeah, so he's just lost. Well, it's not quite the final nail in the coffin. Oh, I thought 
prepared and was trying for another round. It might actually be trying to then... Oh, it's... It's a shame, there's no pilot to be on the research ship. Okay, I think it is trying to run the defence field frigate, but... Okay. Oh, yes, another harvester going down for Lone Wolf. But I, I want to keep focused on this research ship. And I, I, I think Van Malsies is just kind of... Kill. He doesn't need to. And yes, the mothership has guns and quite a lot of health, but... I think it's slightly outnumbered. Heavy corvettes out as well. It's only a matter of time before iron cannon frigates come out and take these out. Saw frigates, it's it's all over. It was all over five minutes ago. I just really want to see one more collision. Because all these scouts could collide as well. Or any ship can come cars into the defense field frigate really. It will certainly be a lot quicker and more fun. And just watching 99% of all incoming fire bounce off. Although, even with 99% of all fire bouncing right off, this assault figure is starting to look quite damaged. It's the mothership. And we can see the mothership's guns coming, firing, but it's just getting healed right up by the support frigates. So yes, I, I think that's pretty much over. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you know the drill by now. Uh, if you haven't, eh, there's, there's not a whole much I can do about it. Hopefully I'll be getting some more games up soon. Uh, oh, there is... This is the... this is a... This is just Grand Mel Seizure trolling now. Yeah. Trolling, you know what I mean. And he locks on. And it'll only be a few seconds to take the defense for a frigate and move it away so that these ships can kill, kill the assault frigate. So, yes, congratulations to Grand Mel Seizure and congratulations to Lone Wolf. Thank you for watching and goodbye.